Welcome back to Tech Logics. If you're following our series on TP-Link VJI IP cameras, you're in the right place. In the first video of this series, we showed how to initialize the camera and set a static LAN IP address using the VJI config tool. If you missed that, be sure to check it out for a complete guide. Today, in the second installment, we'll demonstrate how to add a VJI IP camera to your Hikvision DVR using the Onviv protocol. Connecting your camera this way allows you to record footage on the DVR's storage and view the live feed alongside your existing DVR cameras. Ensure that your IP camera is connected via LAN and that the DVR is also connected to the same modem or router, as shown in the diagram. This setup is crucial for seamless integration and optimal performance, enabling both devices to communicate effectively within the network. Before proceeding with adding the camera to your DVR, it is important to set a static IP address for the camera. Assigning a static IP helps prevent connectivity issues later on. Note, we set a static IP because if DHCP remains enabled, the camera's IP address may change periodically. When this happens, the DVR might lose track of the camera, making it inaccessible. By assigning a static IP, you ensure the camera always uses the same address, maintaining a stable connection and simplifying management. To add the camera to the Hikvision DVR, start by opening the DVR's IP address in your web browser and logging in with your admin credentials. Once logged in, navigate to the configuration page and select camera management. On this page, you'll see options for both analog and IP channels. A typical four-channel Hikvision DVR comes with four analog channels and one IP channel by default. An eight-channel DVR usually features eight analog channels and two IP channels. If you need to add more IP cameras beyond the default, you can disable some of the analog channels by disconnecting their cables, which frees up slots for additional IP cameras. You can add the VJI camera using either the Quick Add or Manual Add option. The Quick Add feature allows the DVR to automatically search the LAN network for compatible cameras and list any detected devices. If the camera isn't found automatically, you can manually add it by selecting Add and entering the necessary details such as the camera's IP address and credentials. When you select the Add option, a pop-up window will appear. Enter the VJI camera's LAN IP address in the IP address field. Set the protocol to Onvif. The management port is 2020, which is the standard port for VJI cameras. Enter the username as admin. For the password and confirm password, use the password you set when initializing the camera. Once all details are entered, click OK to add the camera to the DVR. If the configuration is successful, the camera status on the IP channel page will change to online, confirming that the camera has been added correctly. This indicates that the DVR is now communicating with the camera, and live feeds and recordings will be captured through the DVR accordingly. Note, by default, VJI IP cameras have the Onviv feature enabled, so there is no need for additional network configuration for Onviv to work. The added camera will now appear in the DVR's Live View section, displayed alongside your existing cameras. This integration allows you to easily access multiple feeds from a single interface, making monitoring straightforward and efficient. With this setup, you can watch all camera feeds simultaneously, providing a comprehensive surveillance experience. You have the flexibility to switch between views or monitor all cameras at once for effective oversight. You can also configure recording options for the new camera through the Storage Schedule Settings page. This enables you to customize when and how the camera records, helping you tailor surveillance to your specific needs. You can select continuous recording for non-stop footage or motion detection recording, which captures only when movement is detected. Additionally, scheduling recordings based on weekly or hourly blocks helps optimize storage and focus your monitoring. Reviewing recorded footage is simple through the playback section, where you can easily access and playback specific videos. The camera's live view can also be monitored on the connected DVR monitor and remotely via the HitConnect mobile app. If the camera doesn't appear immediately in the app, try closing and reopening it or logging out and back in to refresh the connection. This ensures your new VJI camera is accessible on your mobile device for remote viewing. If you found this video helpful, 
we sincerely appreciate your support. Your feedback, likes, shares, and subscriptions help us create more valuable content. Every bit of support motivates us to produce helpful tutorials and resources. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay tuned for more.